So, I mean, traveling is taxing on your body, right? So how do you maintain this? You just, you just, man, you hit the ground running. You honestly, like, to me, I'm like, two days for sure, mm. two other days I'm gonna do on my own. So that's four out of seven, right? Mm. And then if I feel cool, like I can do like a, a cardio day, a yeah. recovery day, I'll do that. Okay. Yeah. yeah, but it's so important. Like, okay. I think more people need to tap into that. I mean, you're just a better person. You look good, you feel good, yeah. like, like, it just shows, you exude. You, you, you exude that exude. energy, it just comes out of your pores, yes. like nobody's business. And I like what you were talking about, like with yeah. the two days, and then you have two days for sure. I'm gonna be two, two days, days sure. I'm yes. working out. Yep. Then I got two other days, it's like, all right, I'm gonna do that on my own. Yeah. And then an optional day. So that comes with also having confidence in the gym too. Hmm. So I'm not new to it but I still need a little bit of inspiration. So that's where my two days with my trainer, shout out to Ashley for getting me right. <laughs> um, she gives me that confidence to do better. Like I can walk into any gym, know how to do an upper body, lower body day. I can isolate my movements. I could do my, my cardio on the belt line or go to the track. Like I know I can do that on my own. But when it comes to really pushing myself and somebody like telling me like, nah, pick that up. You know what I mean? Okay, cool. You got six more. Yep. You know, like I need that. I need tough love. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, but that comes with time that people have to really lock into that type of schedule. It's almost like people that do the 4 a.m. miracle morning type of thing. I'm not there, but I know that takes practice for yeah. people that have mastered it. No, with 150%. Yeah. Shout out to the 4 a.m. miracle morning. It is ridiculous. It's I ridiculous. I'm a, I'm a 430 I morning type of dude. That's what I <laughs> Yeah. We ain't got there yet, but right I will there. I will at least respond to my alarm clock when it goes off at 4.30. What are you like, like serious stop? No, so serious. <laughs> like, serious. Hey, 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 chill. Yeah. Nah, right, I'm going to roll over. I'm going to get out. I'm going to put one foot out the bed right. just so I know that I can get there. And then, yeah, I'm going to get out when the snooze goes It took me out. an hour to get here, and now it's <laughs> 5 a.m. But hey. hey. But I'm here, right though. Here. I'm here before 98% of the world wakes up. I'm out yeah. this piece, so let's go. There you go. There you go. Hey, I like hey, the effort and the willingness to try. That's all you need. That's it. That's all you need. Give it, give it a shot. Get the moving. Give it a little bit. Yes. Interesting. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you got to keep it. You got to keep your fitness up. That keeps you clear. That to. keeps you moving. Because I keeps wouldn't you be able out. to do what I do. Uh -huh. Like I, I can only imagine if I just didn't work out. Like mm. I'd be sluggish. I probably wouldn't want to say yes to all the things I say yes to. Saying yes is hard. Right. It takes a lot of physical stamina to <laughs> say yes. Think about that. They're like, yeah. <laughs> da, 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 da. Like, right. Saying yes and saying no are both hard things to do, but you gotta figure it out. Yeah, you gotta figure it out.